In this video, we shall see a numerical problem on overhanging beam to draw shear force and bending moment diagrams. Let us see the question directly. A draw shear force and bending moment diagrams for the overhanging beam carrying a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter over the entire length as shown in the figure. Also look at point of contraflexion. We shall see what is point of contraflexion a little later. Uh, as of now, let us draw, try to draw shear force and bending moment diagrams. This is the question given. This is the uh, diagram given. You can see these two supports, A and B. And also some portion, B to C, is overhanged. We can say this is uh, a simply supported portion from A to B. And B to C, it is a overhanged portion. It is overhanged by 2 meter from the left uh, right support B. And it is carrying uh, the uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter run over the entire length of the beam. Uh, in order to calculate this um, shear force and bending moment diagrams, we have to go step by step. As you know, the first step is to find out reactions. So in order to say any beam is in equilibrium, it has to satisfy two conditions. One is being the sum of forces should be zero. Or we can say all the upper forces are equal to downward forces. Sum of movements about a point is zero. That is the second condition that has to be satisfied. So let us see the first condition. A sum of forces is equal to zero. Or, uh, upward forces are equal to downward forces. So what are upward forces we have here? So whenever there is a support, there must be a reaction. So here support A is showing reaction RA. And here support B is showing reaction RB. So those are upward forces, Ra plus Rb are equal to the downward forces. So only one downward force is there that is uniformly distributed over the length of 4 plus 2, 6 meter. So 2 multiplied by 4 plus 2. Uh, so that you can get the magnitude of this uniformly distributed load in kilonewton. So Ra plus Rb is equal to 12 kilonewton. And second condition is sigma ma is equal to 0. So there is sum of moments about any point is 0. So we are taking point A as usual. So if you see, uh, we have this, all the anti-clockwise moments, we are taking them as positive. All the clockwise moments, we are taking them as negative. If you see here, Rb multiplied by 4. So that is, moment is nothing but force multiplied by distance up to the point we are considering. So Rb is a force multiplied by per perpendicular distance 4 meter. Rb into 4 minus, because this is, uh, you can say this is anti-clockwise moment. So that is positive. And we have one upper, uh, downward force which is causing uh, the clockwise moment which is negative. So that is 2 multiplied by 4 plus 2, that is 6. That is only load now multiplied by perpendicular distance. So that is simply we are converting this uniformly distributed load into concentrated load. So 2 multiplied by 4 plus 2, 2 multiplied by 6 will give you a point load, 2 into 6, multiplied by distance that is acting at the center, uh, center of gravity. That is at the center. That is 6 by 2. So if you see Rb into 4 is equal to, if you simplify this, you will get say 36. Ultimately, the reaction force at B is 9 kN, taking it as uni, uh, equation 2, substitute in equation 1. So, where you will get Ra value. And here, next step is to find out shear forces. So, let us consider the same beam. Uh, if you see shear force, uh, shear forces are the sum of forces right to left we are considering in the problem. Otherwise, we can take from right to left or left to right. So in this problem, we are coming from right to left as usual. So we have no force here. So this is the place where UDL is starting, but here it is zero. Fc is equal to zero. So F near B. So in here, uniformly distributed load is being spread over here. Suddenly another load is being acted. So we have to consider two cases, up to B, at B. So shear force at B, we have one force here, that is two kilonewton acting over 2 meter, 2 into 4 kilonewton. If shear force at B, what happens? Suddenly another force is acting. 
and I have to mention here what are the force which is acting downward I am taking them as positive um, upward forces are uh, considered to be negative so I have told you a trick to remember here in the previous videos downward forces uh, towards the gravity upward forces against the gravity that is only trick to remember not uh, not the technical one you can just watch uh, other video on uh, design convention on shear force and bending moments okay if you see here uh, shear force at b at b uh, this is 2 into 2 will be positive force and this upward force will be negative 4 minus 9 that will be minus 5 kilo newton then we have another support another point we have is only a so if you see the point up to a so you will get that is equal to ra that is 2 kilo newton multiplied by 6 and another force we have is rb up to a we are considering okay so bending moments here if you see uh, bending moments at c is equal to 0 okay there is no force no distance so bending moment at c is 0 mb bending moment at b this is not the simply supported beam to say the bending moment at support is 0 this is overhanging beam so the support is having some magnitude of bending moment so mb is as you know this is sum of moments right or left to the section so we are taking from right to left and uh, force multiplied by perpendicular distance is the moment uh, if you see at b we have 2 multiplied by distance 2 that, that will give you point load that is acting at the center now we have to consider load from the uh, sorry now we have to consider distance from the centroid 2 kilo newton spread it over 2 meter 2 into 2 is the load acting at the center of gravity so we have to take half of 2 so 2 into 2 is the force 2 by 2 is the distance up to b that is minus 4 kilo newton meter we will get m a so another point we have on the e is a 0 so if you two, uh, take 2 multiplied by 6 that is a force that is acting at the center so total distance is 6 meter the cent uh, centroidal distance is 6 pi 2 plus another load so as we said the sign convention we are following the same uh, the clockwise moments are negative anti clockwise moments are positive so rb multiplied by 4 so this is what we get 0 but if you see uh, this is only 4 kilo newton we got and this is 0 this is 0 so we did not get uh, the maximum bending moment here you have to uh, if you remember i said in the previous videos the shear force where the shear force is zero there we will get the maximum bending moment so we have to follow that if you in order to find out the maximum bending moment this is the condition bending moment maximum bending moment occurs at the point where shear force is zero let us consider a section xx at the distance small x units from the support right support b so i am considering the section here somewhere and I equate the shear force at that section is 0. So as usual coming from right to left, we have shear force 2 kilo newton acting at the distance 2 plus x or I can say 2 kilo newton acting over 2 meter plus 2 kilo newton acting over x meter. This, this one. Minus another upward force we have Rb. So Rb going upward so it is negative minus Rb is equal to 0. So if you simplify that, you will get the value of x as 2.5 meter. That is nothing but at the distance x is equal to 2.5 meter, you will get the maximum bending moment. So now we have to find out what is that? How much is that? We will get maximum bending moment at this distance. So maximum bending moment, that is not, and that is bending moment at distance uh, 2.5 meter from support B is equal to, so let us see now minus 2 so the, because this is a uh, clockwise moment it will give so 2 kilo newton multiplied by 2 plus x mm, into 2 kilo newton into 2 plus x is the load multiplied by distances centroidal distance that is 2 plus x by 2 so this is what is that plus okay, again this is anti-clockwise moment we have due to rb rb multiplied by x so that x 
we are taking it as 2.5 because we need maximum bending moment. So if you substitute that and simplify, you will get, um, if you calculate, you will get 2.25 kilonewton meter. That's it. So now shear forces, we have uh, uh, Fc is equal to 0, Fb is equal to 4 kilonewton, F, uh, at B, 5 kilonewton, we have two, uh, two shear forces at point B due to sudden change of load, sudden addition of load or sudden addition of support reaction uh, and this is Fe. So these are all the bending moment values we have. So if you draw this shear force and bending moment diagrams, so initially you have to draw this reference line, keeping all the points, dropping all the points. And here uh, Fc is equal to zero we have, Fb is equal to at B, uh, up to B, four kilonewton, positive four kilonewton at B. So suddenly due to the support reaction that will go to minus five kilonewton. And then here, a is equal to 3. So somewhere it is getting 0. That somewhere is at the distance 2.25 meter from this support B. And this is where we will get the maximum bending moment. So the same we are dropping here. We are keeping all the points. Mc is equal to 0. Mb is equal to minus 4 kilonewton meter. Uh, Ma is equal to 0. And we have the maximum bending moment as 2.25. Sorry, this is 2.5 meter distances. Uh, please check that um, mistake. And we need to find out the point of contraflexion now as given in the question. Uh, so if you see the point of contraflexion is the point where bending moment changes its sign from positive to negative or negative to positive. In that path, it will reach it to zero. That point is called as a um, point of contraflexion. So if you see this, Maximum bending moment is 2.25 kilonewton, and here it is minus 4 kilonewton meter. So during this path, it is touching the reference line where it becomes zero. So that distance we need to consider where it is located. So that is the point of contraflexion. We need to uh, locate it. So that is very simple. We need to uh, take the section NN like this. NN section we are considering, and it is zero. Uh, bending moment at that section is zero. If you find out bending moment at this section, um, up to moments from right support to here, uh, for, sorry, from right portion to this section are zero. Sum of moments is equal to uh, zero. So that is 2 minus 2 because this is a clockwise moment, so negative. 2 into 2 plus n, that is a load, into distance. 2 plus n by 2. If you convert this into point load, that will act at the center. So you have to consider 2 plus n by 2. Okay, plus Rb into N, that is anti-clockwise moment gives you negative, I'm oh, sorry, positive moment. Rb into N, up to N we are considering. So if you could find out the value of N, so you are after simplifying this, so you will get the value of N as 4 or 1. So if you think uh, with a little common sense, N is equal to 4 is not possible. Of course, it is. it becomes 0, of course. So from support B, if it is 4, it is 0. That is, of course, uh, that is correct. But if that is obvious, um, we have already found it out, right? So, M A is equal to 0. And another criteria is N is equal to M. Also, at N is equal to 1, it becomes 0. So, yet the distance 1 meter from the right support B or uh, 3 meters from the left support A, the point of contraflexion is located for this problem. That's it. So I hope you got something. Thanks for your time.